105.7. The X Rocks. Requested man. It's just been one thing after another. We've been, every one of the singles from this album have been a major, major thing for us on 105.7 The X. So how's it feel to be keep going up that ladder, man? We've been talking about that a lot recently. Just in the last couple of months, it's been booming since we dropped our single, Maybe. And it's been, it's worked out really well. Like a lot of bands don't get to the third single, so... We're just holding on, really. We're just really holding on. Like, it's it's show after show after tour after tour, man. It's all happening. That's great. There's no doubt about it. Maybe it's a song that, uh, you know what, you listen to the other stuff. I mean, your album is full of diverse stuff going on anyway, but what was the motivation for like the song like Maybe? It, it's obviously a little bit of a step back, a little bit more texture cut. Uh, what's the motivation of the lyrics of that song? Who wants to talk? Um, the motivation behind it, I guess it's um, it goes back to when uh, Shim and I came to the States in the first place. We... Uh, we're an Australian band from Sydney, and um, we decided to make the move. And like you know, it's a it's it's a little uh, risky, and it's a little scary. And I think that um, that that song was it, it. kind of encapsulates like what we did by moving over here and really like basing ourselves here. So um, yeah, that's great. It's a great song. I mean, the harmonies are amazing, and you know, it's like the album is full of like you got hard harder moments, and you got you know the moments where you like you pull it back a little bit. But growing up, the Australian thing. I know we got the American in the band, which well, it's an, it's an interesting mix we got going on here. Uh, I was a huge Australian rock music fan. I mean, I love Midnight Oil and Excess, and a, of course ACDs, all those great bands. What were you guys listening to? I mean, as kids, grew up what the '90s, right? Was it like Silverchair for you guys? Or who was it? It was exactly that. Silverchair was the band that brought us together, really. Like, um, we first learned how to play those the songs off their first record to figure out how to play guitar and bass and drum. I started on drums, Emma started on guitar, and we sort of moved around instrumentation-wise a bit. He was a big influence on me as a singer, and then there was all the mid-90s bands like Green Day and Rage Against the Machine and all that sort of stuff. And we sort of, in terms of influence, it's really hard to get rid of your influences. Like, once you, once you sort of fall in love with that thing and that's what starts you beginning a band, you can't really get rid, it's sort of in your DNA after that. You evolve, but you always come back to that same place. That's great, man, that's great. So, you get, you get asked this all the time, being the lady in the band, I mean, are these guys driving just, just completely crazy, or how does it work on the road? Uh, I get that. I asked, get asked that a lot, sorry. And um, it's not too bad because, like I said, I met Shim in high school, and uh, he's, uh, he's like a brother to me. And then we met, you know, Mark five years ago. And uh, I don't know, you learn to sort of, like, grow together. And when you live together, you have to sort of make it work. And, uh, no, it's, it's really good. That's great. That's great. So your, your involvement in the band, I mean, it's obviously, what, four or five years ago? So how did it all work out, man? How did this Australian to America connection happen for you, buddy? Oh man, it was uh, it was faded, really. But uh, no, I, yeah, just uh, they put out ads just like any other band does, and I saw ads everywhere for, you know, Sick Puppies, and you know they were a new band, obviously in the states at the time, and um, you know it was just one of those things. Like I just auditioned, and yeah, here I am, five years later. So it's cool. We're very happy you guys are here. Last question: uh, Your live shows, man, you're starting to get a reputation. Uh, you guys tore it up here in July. You're getting this reputation for being this amazing live band. So. Uh, What's it going to be like tonight for the big holiday show? It's going to be better than the last time, but not as good as the next time. That's a great answer, by the way. Can you tell he's a rock star? You guys are rock star. Hey, man. All right, guys, thank you for being here. Much appreciated. We're here raising money tonight for Operation Angel as well for our military family. Thank you, Crusaders for Kids. Thank you, uh, our friends at uh, Budweiser and Brewers Distributing, Monster Energy. It's Nutcracker. See ya. Here we go. 105.7 The X. Rocks. Rocks.